Got a CNC router. What's up everyone? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So I finally did it. I picked up a CNC router. It's the Shapeyoko XXL and I got it from Robot Shop and they sent me a whole bunch of stuff and they hooked me up and I'm going to do some projects for them. So they're all ready to go. I'm going to start assembling this. It looks really easy to assemble. And then, uh, yeah, once we get it set up, we're going to see if we can cut some stuff today. Should be really cool. Can't wait to see it. Let's go. Okay, so uh, that went pretty well. wasn't too difficult. Um, it's assembled right now, but I have to plug it into the computer. We'll see if we can get things moving. Probably won't be cutting anything today, but maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it might need to be squared up a little bit better. I tried squaring it. didn't really work. Uh, there's a bit of a gap. Here when it's at the front, on that corner, and when I loosen everything and then hit these with a hammer the gap doesn't change so something weird's going on there so I have to look it up but uh, let's see if we can get some movement and smoke test a magic spoke that's a start uh, let's see Oh, well, that worked better than expected. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. Uh, I was going to run some test programs to see if it was all squared up, but I've actually got a project that I can't really tell you what it is right now, but it's something I can cut out and it uh, doesn't really need to be super dimensionally square. So I think it'd be a good test piece to cut. So I created a few tool paths in Fusion 360. Got a drill step that is using, so it's an eighth inch hole and you can see how this runs here. And then we've got a contour for the holes. Speed that up a bit. And uh, there's little tabs in there so they don't fly out. Try that out. And that's a quarter inch bit. That's the one that comes with the shape Yoko. So this will be a good test as well. And then finally, the contour for the outside. So, simple. And uh, if we screw it up, it's just an MDF, so it'll be fun to play around with this. And we'll see how it works. And then we'll do some testing afterwards and maybe try some other things like 3D contouring. stock secured to the table. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a pass that's like hovering over the piece to see where it goes. I think I've got everything set up properly now. And I put them into three different um, G-code files 
just so I can like monitor and see what's going on because I haven't used this before. So I'm going to run the drill pass first, just floating over it and see how it goes. Make sure it doesn't hit any of the screws that I have on there. Yeah, let's try it out. Okay, so that worked. So I should be able to do this drilling operation now. Okay, here goes nothing. So out of my excitement, I actually cut this out of order. Uh, I wanted to do these pockets first, so that'd be more secure. Um, but it's cutting really well. Probably need to mess with the feeds and speeds a little bit. Figure out more of the settings on the router, what they actually mean. Because it's just a dial from 1 to 6, and then it changes the RPM. So now I've got to cut these pockets out. I might add a screw to secure it, but there are little tabs in there. It's working well. One more cut to go. That uh, worked kind of perfectly. Uh, cut a little bit deeper than I wanted to, so the tabs for these came out, but that's okay, they were gonna come out anyways. I just wanted to make sure they didn't fly and hit the router, so and uh, yeah, I'll screw the other 3D printed piece to this and I'll show you what it's supposed to do. It's nothing special, it's just a jig. 3D printed parts. It's a project that I can't show you, but I'm working on. And uh, it just screws it and holds everything together. Just like that. Cool. So I'll show you what I mean about it being not square. Uh, you can even see it, this line, if I move it, it kind of jumps every couple of inches. You can kind of hear that. And that is due to it moving and then moving a little bit more because it's not square. And when you go all the way to this end, you see we've got, bad example, I have to power it down. Okay, so it's powered off. If I pull it all the way this way, you'll see it's touching here. And we have about a quarter inch gap there. So. So, so I can pull it flush, obviously, but it's, a, it's not square. So if I push it to the other end. Again, now we're flush on this side. We have a bit of a gap on this side. So that means I'm going to loosen basically everything. I've actually cut a bunch of stuff on this. It's a couple weeks later. I'm going to loosen everything that has to do with it being square which includes the waste board and uh, try and get it aligned because I couldn't get it aligned before. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see if we made that any better. We've got, this is where it stops. 
We gotta measure that gap there. A little bit bigger there. So I don't really know what's going on. But we'll do some test cuts. We'll see if it is the machine or these rails. I don't know. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got a uh, part here. Really simple circle that is 45 millimeters diameter. And I'm just going to cut it out in a few different locations on CNC on the shape Yoko and then uh, we'll measure its roundness and see if it's skewed this way or this way with some calipers so that's the uh, X direction you can see it's pretty well right on and then as we rotate towards the Y direction you see we get it increases now there's a little bit of something a little bit of tear out here I think from the build up the way it plunges so there's a lip you can see it I don't know what that's from uh, so it's not square but it's good in the X. So let's cut out another one on the other side. Alright, here's the second one. It's got that lip again. I don't know why it's doing that. So. Check in the X direction, fairly spot on, and we'll rotate up, yeah, something's askew, so I gotta play with this some more, but I've already used it for a bunch of stuff, I don't imagine doing a lot of like super critical dimensionally stuff uh, on this. It's more going to be for, you know, like wood things that I'm going to have to sand down and change after and I don't know. Got the laser cutter back there. That's new. And uh, there'll be a video on that. And I think I'm done with this video. I got to play around with it some more and you'll probably see it in some projects. But uh, it's pretty cool and I'm really Happy I got it, so thanks to uh, Robot Shop for hooking me up with that. Anyways, everyone, you know the deal. Be good, and have a good day.